In the time before the arrival of Europeans in North America, the Choctaw Indian Nation flourished in the southeastern portion of what is now the United States of America. They lived on the land that now makes up portions of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Like most Native American groups, the Choctaw created a rich culture and spoke their own Muscogean language. Some of the Choctaw cultural activities included skills of craftsmanship, such as weaving and pottery making, as well as the practice of storytelling. The Choctaw also participated in various ceremonies, as in addition to playing the traditional North American Indian stickball game. The Choctaw language was important for passing down traditional knowledge and engaging in storytelling. But Choctaw language and culture would be threatened upon the arrival of greater and greater numbers of Europeans in the New World. The Choctaw Nation tried to maintain peaceful relations with the newest inhabitants of North America by signing treaties, ceding portions of their land to the United States and adopting to the Western way of life, thus becoming one of America's five civilized tribes. Eventually, however, the Choctaws were removed from their native lands as a result of the Indian Removal Act of 1830. In fact, the Choctaw were the first Indian nation to move west of the Mississippi River on what became known as the Trail of Tears. The Choctaw settled in southeastern Oklahoma, and by this point, Many of the tribe members had intermarried with non-Indians, converted to Christianity, and adopted other Western customs. Choctaw language and culture was able to survive, at least in small portions, through all of the toils and troubles that the nation faced. In the 1970s, major revitalization projects began. Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma established the tribal newspaper of the Biscayne. The nation established the School of Choctaw Language in order to preserve and spread its mother tongue. Because of this emphasis on language education, the Choctaw Nation has one of the highest percentages of native speakers of its language of all North American Indian groups. The Choctaw language is now taught in high schools, universities, and at local community centers, as well as through online courses. The Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma is also continuing to spread other traditions by educating its youth. One example is teaching children the traditional stickball game. Also, classes on traditional craftsmanship are offered in towns and cities throughout southeastern Oklahoma. The large number of members of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma means that there is a good chance of their traditional culture continuing to spread. The Choctaw example is perhaps a good model for other Indian nations to follow regarding language and cultural revitalization.